Hello everyone. Today we're going to be uh, creating another table on Desmos, but additionally we're going to create the line of best fit. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're on Desmos. Go ahead and click the big red button where it says start graphing. Get rid of that. I always sign in first, upper right hand corner. Sign in with your Google account. There we go, your name should pop up right here. And let's go ahead and save this. Lesson 3.1, problem two, example. Okay, lesson 3.1, problem two, example. Save. Cool, got it saved here. So as just as the previous video, we're going to go ahead and create a table. So go to the big plus, table. Under x1, I just do the x's first. 1, enter. 3, enter. 4, enter. 7, enter. Then go to the y's. 3, <coughs> enter. 5, enter. 7, enter. 9. Okay, and we have our points right here. Now we're going to do the maintenance. So again, go to the right hand side, the little wrench that says graph settings, projector mode. I'm going to label the x axis and the x axis, I'm going to make it between negative two. Of course, you could do negative 5 if you want, it doesn't matter. Um, negative 2 to 10. And it's going to go by 1s. Okay? Step 1. And then we're going to go to y-axis right here and label that one the same thing. Y-axis. And see, it's going to start coming up right here. And y-axis, we'll also do negative 2. Mmm negative 2 to 10. Step 1. Okay. And that should be it. Grid. Label x-axis negative 2 to 10. Step 1. And then y-axis. Label it negative y is in between negative 2 and 10. Step 1. Okay. Click anywhere else and you should have a graph like this. All right, and the points are just kind of everywhere. So now what we're going to do, and the new part of this lesson is the line of best fit. Okay, so we're going to go to number two down here. You're going to click right there. And the standard form of an equation is y equals mx plus b, right? Don't write this down yet. Okay, that's the standard form. But what we're going to do, we're going to change some things up. So we're going to... Okay, I guess you could have written it down or typed it in. We're going to go to the Y, and we're going to put right next to the Y, 1. Okay, then we're going to keep going. Next to the X, we're going to put a 1. And then instead of the equals, we're going to get rid of equals. We're going to look for that tilde sign, okay? So you're going to have to hold shift should be on the upper left hand corner of your keyboard, it's a little squiggly. Actually, I'll try it here. Let's see, let's see, A, B, C. It's gonna be this one right here. It's a little like, squiggle. Bam, there you go. Okay, so, your graph, I mean your function should look like this. Y1 tilde M X1 plus B. The Y1, is taking values from this y1 table three five seven nine I'm not gonna lie I'm not sure why the tilde is there I just know that's how it's done x1 is taken from the x1 table one three four seven plus b b is the y-intercept and it's labeled right here and if you look through the values parameters the slope is one point zero one three three the y-intercept is 2.2, .2 and it's right here. So if you notice this line of best fit, it doesn't necessarily go through the points. 
but this is the line that um, comes closest to all of the points, okay? And that's how you do a line of best fit in Desmos. Line of best fit is a straight line that best represents the data on a scatter plot. So, so I like to think of that as like kind of like an average, okay? All right, and that's it. Just make sure you save it. Saved. And just like before, when we want to share it, click on the, no, I don't want this. Click on the little uh, share button here, upper right hand corner, and share the link, okay? And I think that's it. See you next time, peace.